So without a doubt, one of the most commonly asked questions I get whenever I'm streaming or making a video is how do I get triple 100 armor stats and how did you do it? And you see, it's kind of complicated, but also not at the same time. If I'm being completely honest, getting triple 100 armor stats is a lot more luck based than anything else, but there still is a few things you can do to make the process a little bit easier. Now real quick, before we actually get into how you can earn a lot of high stat roll armor, I do want to quickly point out that if you are using a stasis subclass trying to get triple 100 stats, it is going to be a hell of a lot easier. The reason being is that there are actually multiple stasis fragments that will give you stat boosts like plus 10 recovery, plus 10 resilience, plus 10 intellect, and so on and so forth. And although something as simple as plus 10 recovery doesn't really seem too crazy at first, it could just be the difference between you having triple 100s or two 100s and a 90. Take this build right here for example. So as you guys can currently see, I have 102 mobility, 93 recovery, and 106 intellect. But what you guys can also see is I am currently on a solar subclass. When I switch that subclass over to stasis, I now have triple 100s because guess what? That plus 10 recovery came in clutch. But I know not everyone is going to want to use stasis, so let's get into some of the ways you can get some high stat roll armor. So without a doubt, the very first thing I would recommend doing is heading around the tower and talking to every single vendor that sells armor. This could be Drifter, Zavala, Shax, whoever it is, there is a chance they have an absolutely cracked armor piece and you need to check their inventory. This especially goes for Zer because not only does he have exotic armor that could possibly be better than what you have, he also sells high stat legendary armor for every class every week. For example, he has this helmet right here for the hunters this week. That is absolutely insane. If you don't have a hunter helmet and you're watching this video, I, I guess it'll probably be gone by then. But this helmet, I, I hope you guys picked it up because this thing is really, really good. Speaking of checking every vendor, I actually just took a quick lap around the tower checking pretty much everyone's inventory and I saw Drifter has a really, really good hunter chest piece. I'm actually kind of mad right now. I bought the chest piece, I masterworked it and everything, and I'm literally one stat off having triple 100s with stompies. Obviously I am using stasis, but wow, that is close. But that really just goes to show you just how easy and free it is to get really, really good armor from vendors. Definitely don't be missing out on this. Now, aside from straight up buying gear from vendors, another great method of getting high stat roll gear is to go to the prismatic recaster in the helm and start focusing. Now you could go to the Season of the Lost tab and start focusing armor from there, however, I'm actually going to recommend that you guys don't do this. And that is because Season of the Splicer actually drops higher stat roll armor than Season of the Lost. I'm not sure why that is, but I can show you guys some examples real quick. So here's a pair of Hunter Gauntlets I got from the Season of the Splicer focusing. As you guys can see, this is a 66 base stat roll. And then here's a pair of Titan Gauntlets I got from the focusing. This is a 59 base stat roll with decent distribution, but not the greatest. And I know that's just one comparison. I wish I could show you guys more, but I actually ended up deleting most of the armor I got from Season of the Lost solely because it just wasn't that good compared to the splicer armor. I mean, just take a look at some of the other splicer pieces I've gotten. Literally nothing is in the 50s for a stat roll, and these all pretty much have better distribution than what I had on those titan gauntlets. Now just to be clear, I'm not saying that you absolutely should not be farming any of the armor from the Season of the Lost. All I'm saying is that if there is a weapon you want, focus on that first because the armor from here obviously will not be as good as the Season of the Splicer and you don't want to be wasting your focuses. Oh yeah, I uh, almost forgot to mention the Season of the Chosen focusing. If you want to put yourself to sleep and play Battlegrounds, sure, do it. It does give good armor, but it literally takes so long just to get one tier 3 focus that it is just not worth it at all. Now let's say you've already used all of your focuses for the week and you've also checked every single vendor. What I would recommend doing after that is simply the Prophecy Dungeon. As stupid as it sounds, the Prophecy Dungeon actually gives you a pinnacle high stat roll piece of armor at the very end and sometimes it's actually really really good. And since that armor piece is technically a drop, you can equip something like Recovery Armor or Resilience Armor to make sure that it has at least 10 of that stat, which admittedly isn't the craziest thing in the world, but it does help. 
Now beyond farming the three things we just talked about, there really isn't any other great way to get high stat roll legendary armor, but there is still one more thing I want to cover in this video, which is going to be how you can actually farm for high stat roll exotic armor. Because let's be real, if you have triple 100s but it's not with an exotic piece of armor, it's just not the same. Now in my opinion, by far, the best way to target farm exotic armor is by doing the 1320 loss sector over and over and over again. The reason I'm saying to farm the 1320 loss sector is because the 1351 is quite a bit harder and takes more time, and it also really doesn't feel like it drops more exotics. I know it says it has a higher chance, but I have done a lot of these and it feels pretty equal. Now there's really no trick to farming these lost sectors, they're pretty self-explanatory, you just go in, clear them out, repeat, 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 and eventually you should get the exotic you're looking for. Now I don't know if it's going to be a good roll, probably not, it might take a few attempts, but it is definitely worth it in the end. I will say though, if the lost sector you are trying to farm pops up on the moon, just don't farm it, wait for another day. The moon lost sectors are quite a bit harder than the other ones and they do take quite a bit longer. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover in today's video. If you guys found it informative or helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you dropped a like on this video. And if you have any other methods of getting high stat roll armor that I maybe didn't cover in this video, make sure to leave those in the comments below. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you tossed me a subscription while you're down there. Anyways, it's been Gravely. Peace.